After meeting at Coachella and having their first date in Las Vegas, Aaron Paul quickly realized Lauren Parsikian was the woman he wanted to marry. More than 10 years and a proposal in Paris later, the couple has two children and continues to support each other's personal and professional projects. Aaron Paul and Lauren Parsikian met at the Coachella Music Festival in 2010. The actor has described the moment he met his future wife, saying, She just exuded so much beauty inside and out. The actor still has his wife saved as Lauren Coachella on his phone. However, the pair wouldn't become romantically involved until a year later, when they had their first kiss at the same festival. Paul explained that the two had their first kiss at the Coachella Ferris wheel. Later that night, Parsikian and Paul laid down together on a golf ring to look at the stars. At that moment, Aaron told Lauren he was going to marry her. So romantic. The two decided to give their romance a chance and went on a first date in Las Vegas. The actor confessed that they were so sure of their romance that they almost got married then and there. The lovebirds even jumped in a cab and asked the driver to take them to the nearest chapel. Finally, the Breaking Bad star decided to officially propose on New Year's Day during a trip to Paris. The couple danced together in a courtyard where he popped the question. A while later, Lauren shared the happy news on her Facebook page. I'm so happy and excited and honored to share my life with the most amazing man on the planet, she wrote. Luckily, the couple didn't keep all their cute moments to themselves. They also shared some with the world. During the 2012 Emmy Awards, Lauren accompanied Aaron on the red carpet. I'm honored to be his date. I love him and I'm in awe of his talent, she told ABC. The actor ended up winning the Emmy. During his speech, he thanked Parsikian, saying, My beautiful, most inspiring fiance, Lauren. Um, thank you so much for looking at me the way you do. Uh, you truly have saved me. Although Aaron reached international fame and numerous awards thanks to his job on Breaking Bad, the truth is that getting to that point wasn't easy for the performer. When he read the pilot, Paul had been in the acting business for 10 years. I was at the lowest point of my career in terms of finances. I didn't know where my next check was going to come in and how I was going to pay my bills, the star said in an interview. For this reason, Aaron needed the audition to go well, and he felt a lot of pressure while reading for the part. The actor was so nervous that his audition didn't go smoothly. Paul forgot one of his lines and even apologized during the audition. His audition clip is on YouTube, which the star hates. Aaron walked out of the audition room feeling sure he had ruined his last chance to solve his money problems. Luckily for the actor, one person really liked him. Vince Gilligan, the creator of Breaking Bad, loved him and was sure he was perfect for playing Jesse Pinkman. Gilligan liked Paul because the actor had starred in an X-Files episode when he was younger. Aaron's character was called Sky Commander Winky, which was the writer's nickname in college. Fate or coincidence? Vince liked the actor so much that he insisted on Paul getting the role, even if no one else wanted him. The star didn't hear back for two weeks because Vince needed that time to convince the others to give him the part. Dozens of awards later, it seems like the producer made the right choice. But let's get back to Aaron and Lauren. By the time the couple married, Paul was established as one of the best television actors. The couple tied the knot at a beautiful ranch in Malibu. The actor decided to surprise his bride on their special day and asked all the wedding guests to learn the lyrics of the song Beauty by the Shivers. Aaron coordinated all the guests so that they joined and sang to Lauren at the end of the song. When this happened, Lauren just started weeping in the most beautiful way ever, the actor told People magazine. Lauren described the ceremony, saying, The first moment I saw Aaron will forever be the most perfect visual snapshot of my life, she continued. The event included 250 guests, including Brian Cranston, Paul's co-star on Breaking Bad. The theme was 1920s Paris Carnival, a nod to the couple getting engaged in the French capital. After the couple's first dance, the guests enjoyed a performance by the band Foster the People. Aaron was delighted with how the ceremony turned out. It was pretty magical, he said. Throughout their marriage, Paul and Persikian continued to support each other through everything. So much so that in 2014, Aaron's support likely caused Lauren's website to crash due to all the fans checking it out. Lauren studied filmmaking and decided to use her knowledge to help others through things similar to what she struggled with growing up. While in school, Lauren was bullied by other girls. It all started when another girl's crush began to like Parsikian. The girl and her friends started bullying Lauren, making her feel alone, ugly, and worthless. Things became so bad that Lauren developed an eating disorder and struggled with thoughts of ending her life. Although the filmmaker got through high school, the bad experience remained in her mind. 
she decided to contribute to putting an end to bullying so that others wouldn't have to endure it. Lauren co-founded Kind Campaign, which focuses on ending girl-on-girl -girl abuse. In 2011, Parsikian released a documentary called Finding Kind, which talked about the effects of bullying and mentioned her campaign, raising more than a million dollars. Paul has used his fame to help his wife's cause. In 2014, he mentioned her in his Emmy speech, saying, My God, thank you for marrying me. Erin thanked Lauren for dedicating her life to spreading kindness and urged viewers to check out Kind Campaign. If you guys don't know what she does, look up Kind Campaign. Do yourself and your children a favor. Kind Campaign. Thank you so much. Thank you. So many people searched for the campaign's website that it crashed, so it's safe to say that Aaron's speech helped the cause. The actor also tied a screening of the Breaking Bad finale to one of the campaign's fundraisers, raising enough money for all the campaign's programs to be free of charge. Kind Campaign is still going strong and finding new ways to grow. They now have initiatives like curriculums and a camp. With so much effort dedicated to helping children, it's no surprise that the couple decided to have their own at one point. In 2017, Paul announced that they were expecting. Hey everyone, look what I did, he wrote in an Instagram caption. Words can't express how excited I am that this little one has entered our life, he added. Lauren also announced the pregnancy by uploading her own childhood photos along with a sonogram. In early 2018, the pair welcomed their daughter, Story. Parsiki and uploaded a baby photo to her Instagram. She also uploaded a story of the actor holding their daughter with the words, I have never loved you more than I do right now. Sometime after his daughter's birth, Aaron confessed to the Guardian that he had never wanted children, although Lauren did. Paul was scared that having kids would mean giving up his freedom. However, Paul's work sometimes entailed working with child actors. Entering the caretaker mindset while on set made the star slowly change his mind. He first kept this revelation to himself and didn't tell Lauren he was open to having kids until five or six months had passed. When Aaron finally told Lauren, she made him repeat himself a couple of times to make sure what she was hearing was true. The filmmaker had given up the possibility of having children to spend her life with him. Paul confessed that after having a child, he realized what a huge sacrifice that was. Thank God I changed my mind, man. My life began when she was born, he told the Guardian about his daughter. Fatherhood was an incredible experience for the actor, who confessed that it had changed him. In an interview, he expressed his desire to have another baby, and Aaron's dreams came true. In 2021, the couple announced they had a baby on the way. The little one was born in April of the following year. He was named Ryden in honor of Mark Ryden, the couple's favorite artist. Paul gushed over his son during an appearance on The Tonight Show. He also mentioned that his daughter loves her little brother. Aww. The actor revealed that he had asked his Breaking Bad co-star Brian Cranston to be the baby's godfather. I love the man to death, you know, he's yeah. one of my best friends in the world. And The couple is still going strong and taking care of their beautiful family. From time to time, they share a few moments on Instagram, making us gush all over again. From Coachella to Paris, theirs is an idyllic love story. Here at Rumor Juice, we wish this beautiful family many years of love and happiness. Be well and be kind.